Well, it's a busy Friday night. We have a lot of news to get to. I'm Kaylee McEnany, and for Laura Ingram, and this is a special edition of the Ingram Angle. Well, one week from today, the first ballots for the presidential election will go out. The stakes could not be higher. And if you were wondering what Kamala Harris's day one priorities were, her first interview provided little clarity. If you are elected, what would you do on day one in the White House? Well, there are a number of things. I will tell you, first and foremost, one of my highest priorities is to do what we can to support and strengthen the middle class. So what would you do day one? Day one, it's going to be about, one, implementing my plan for what I call an opportunity economy. I've already laid out a number of um, proposals in that regard, which include what we're going to do to bring down um, the cost of everyday goods. So vague, no answers. Well, I was wondering what happened to this. Kamala used to be crystal clear about her day one priorities. On day one, we're going to repeal that tax bill. On day one, we're going to repeal that tax bill. On day one, we're going to repeal that tax bill. On day one, we're going to repeal that tax bill. Well, that tax bill, also known as the Trump tax cuts, actually benefited all income brackets, according to Heartland Institute analysis of IRS tax data. In fact, listen to this. Americans making between $15,000 and $50,000 received a tax cut between 16 to 26 percent. And those making between $50,000 and $100,000 received a tax break of 15 to 17 percent. Sounds pretty good. Well, so much for the promise of not taxing the middle class. So who is the real Kamala Harris? Is it the Kamala we saw last night, who vows to strengthen the middle class through socialist price controls? Or is it the Kamala who wants to take your money and tax the middle class into oblivion? And check out this humble Harris brag from last night. One of your campaign themes is we're not going back. But I wonder what you say to voters who do want to go back when it comes to the economy specifically, because their groceries were less expensive, housing was more affordable when Donald Trump was president. When we came in, our highest priority was to do what we could to rescue America. And today, we know that we have inflation at under 3 percent. A lot of our policies have led to the reality that America recovered faster than any wealthy nation around the world. So did you catch that? That was Kamala Harris bragging that she and Joe Biden brought down inflation to a higher level than it was during the Trump administration. Trump handed Biden-Harris a 1.4 percent inflation rate. Now it's at 2.9 percent after hitting 9.1 percent. That's a 40-year high. It's only noticeable that grocery prices have gone up probably like 40 percent in the last couple of years. Fuel prices go up, the price of everything goes up. It's ridiculous. What you can get for $100 before, now it's like $300 instead. It's really bad. We all know that prices are too high, a fact Kamala Harris has admitted repeatedly on the campaign trail and even during last night's interview. But here is the most important task for Republicans, tying Kamala Harris to the Biden-Harris economy. There was this revealing Bloomberg Morning Consult poll. I saw it this morning. It just dropped, and it highlights what the GOP must do. The poll shows, quote, that swing state voters' perceptions of the economy haven't drastically improved since Harris took over at the top of the ticket. A majority of respondents still say that they were better off under Trump. But here's the catch. Voters appear less likely to hold Harris responsible for the economic insecurities that plagued Biden. Well, the fact is, Kamala Harris was one of the architects of Bidenomics. She was the tie-breaking vote for trillions in spending that lit the raging fire of inflation that unleashed hell on the American family. She cannot escape her role in our country's economic maladies. So how can the Trump campaign hold her accountable? That's the question. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.